Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Iloilo Bike Festival 2022. To start with, I'd like to request everybody to please rise for the prayer, the Philippine National Anthem, and the Iloilo City Hymn. Dear Almighty Father, we pray for your gracious protection as we face the deadliest hour of our lives. We ask for your care and heal those infected by the COVID-19 virus. Lord, you are our refuge and strength. Unite us and guide us towards the path of safety. Nagadangup kami sa imo ginoo. Nga imo kami luwason sa tanan nga katalagman na binagid sa COVID-19. Amen. Bayang maghihil, perlas ng silanganan, alam ng puso, sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, uyan ka ng maghito, Sa manlulupi, di ka pasisil Sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bukaw May dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagniningning Ang bituin na taro niya kailan pa may di magdidinim Lupa ng araw ng walhati pagsinta Buhay ay langit sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pang may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo Not only do you become physically stronger, but you achieve clarity of mind. I would be remiss, however, if I fail to remind you that all of the benefits of biking can be negated by an accident. So, safety first. Congratulations in advance. Have fun and mabuhay. Iloilo City is a highly urbanized metropolis in Central Philippines home to 447,992. Being a service-driven economy and regional center of commerce and education, as well as seat of governance, the city draws more people from neighboring localities who converge to transact, study, work, and do business. Its bustling economic hub in the 1900s saw foreign traders venturing on bike businesses and repair shops. Bikers had traversed the city's road networks alongside calesas and wagons. Today, Iloilo City, where the past is always present, relieves its glorious days by boosting mobility on public spaces, integrating bike lanes in the country's longest linear park, the 9-kilometer esplanade stretching on both sides of the banks of Iloilo River at the heart of the urban center. The city government has invested a total of 68 million pesos, including 34.6 million pesos in 2020 and 33.4 million pesos in 2021, which have been allotted for programs, projects, activities, or PPAs promoting As bikes become a preferred mode of conveyance in the new normal and in a bid to put in place road safety, the biking community is bracing for longer bike lanes, almost double the existing ones. Mayor Jerry Trañas has already discussed the development plans with advocates, representatives of the Department of Public Works and Highways, 
City Engineer's Office, Public Safety and Transportation Management Office, and Iloilo Bike Council. Biking as the best alternative means of transport, especially for workers, has become not just popular but practical during the height of COVID-19 pandemic when there were less public utility vehicles available and limited seating capacities cut to half. Mayor Trenias has allocated funds for infrastructure and related purposes and has encouraged Ilongas to use bikes for transport when the city is under the general community quarantine. The city government is closely working together with national government agencies, private sector partners, and more than 200 bikers groups in establishing bike lanes, from painting to putting concrete pots for plants and flowers, and double as barriers and road safety advocacies. Due to banning of mass gatherings, the annual Iloilo Bike Festival had gone virtual this 2021. Now in its 8th year, a 10-year partnership with Mega World's Iloilo Business Park. The week-long festivities drew up to 10,000 bikers from all over the Philippines during its pre-pandemic editions. By 2029, Iloilo shall be a model of a livable, well-governed city of empowered and innovative Ilongas that safeguard the environment and preserve the culture while sustaining a robust, inclusive and resilient economy. Initial discussion on creating a bicycle network plan was spearheaded by Senator Franklin Drelon as early as 2016. A meeting was called at Hotel del Rio to include the Department of Public Works and Highways, City Planning and Development Office, Panay Electric Company and private sector bicycle advocates in conjunction with road widening efforts during that time. A draft comprehensive master plan created by private sector bicycle advocates was presented during the meeting. The intent of the network of bicycle lanes was to interconnect all the plazas of the city as well as to include major universities. Iloilo City has indeed come a long way. For mobility, whether for business, recreation, or sports, in the booming metropolis of the beautiful Iloilo City. The Bike Festival 2022 represents a readiness to innovate our transportation structures to support every Ilongo's passion and love. Gentlemen, let's hear a message from the Regional Director of the Department of Tourism, Region 6. Let's give it up for R.D. Christine Mancinares. Maayong aga sa tanan to our Director of the Indigenous Center, Sir Dong Sarabia, Mr. Joe Lyson, President of IFFI, and to all of its officers and members. Mega World, we have here Ms. Jennifer Fong, of course Ms. Carmela, Ms. Joji, our private sector partners, our counselors are here, Counselor Cabaluna, Master Tupas, Dr. Baronda, our, our media guests, sa tanan, again, maayong aga. aga. First, I would like to congratulate the city government of Ililo headed by Mayor Trenias, the Ililo My Center and IFFI for this laudable effort. And the Department of Tourism is recognizing this as part of our one of our tourism activities that we can also promote, tourism program that we can promote. Apart, Apart from, from providing, providing a safe, scenic, and sustainable biking activity, we also recognize this initiative in promoting health and wellness tourism. It appeals to people of every age. We can integrate art, food, and history in our tour program. With, the bike, with this, biking is not only an interesting way to see Ilililo City, it is also a great way to taste its flavors, to experience its vibrant art scene, and of course, learn from its past. For this year, the Department of Tourism extended its support through the Office of Ms. Janelle, the City Tourism Office, to train our community guides. And this includes our bikers who wanted to learn guiding. And hopefully, we can create the circuit 
promoting also our ecotourism products along the Esplanade. And this is part of our Tourism Industry Skills Program in the Department of Tourism. The Tourism Promotions Board also supported this initiative uh, since uh, 2020. Again, I would, I would like, like to congratulate, congratulate everyone, and I, and I wish that we will be having a, a successful three-day event as we position Ilu Ilu City as the bike capital of the country. Madam, thank you. Thank you very much, Regional Director Christine Mancinares. To award the certificate of, of appreciation once again, I'd like to request Mr. Jose Villaizona. Mr. Rito Carlos Peña together with Mr. Salvador Sarabia Jr. Present to you the Ililo Bike Festival presenters, Ililo City Government, Ililo Festivals Foundation Incorporated, Ililo City Mice Center, Mega World Ililo Business Park, Emperador, Festival Ililo and McDonald's. Our committee heads for all bike events. Our appreciation goes to architect Wilfredo C. Jr., race director or the overall in charge. Palakpakan natin. Our Christopher Leo Voss for the Kiddy Race. William Garcia III for the bike exhibit. Rhea Hinon Hagunap. And now we shall award our Ilongo Bike personalities. Once again, I'd like to request Sir Peña, Sir Laison to be back here on stage. Our first awardee is the race director of the first Dinagyang Professional Cycling Tournament of 2001, pioneer member of Iloilo Cycling Association. Ladies and gentlemen, a resounding applause for Dr. Ramon Mirasol. Dr. Ramon Mirasol for being the first, for being the race director of the first Dinagyang Professional Cycling Tournament back in 2001. Next awardee is the Downhill MTB Gold Medalist 2009 SEA Games Team Pinas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Miss Leia Denise Belgira. Some of our awardees are not here, but some of them also sent their representatives. Another awardee is a gold medalist during the 2019 UCIDH Rizal 2018 Another award recipient is the Duathlon Sea Games Philippine Team 
2002 champion, Ironman Asian Elite. Congratulations and let's give it up for Alexandra Ganzon. He is the third place in the Ronda Filipinas 2022. Rookie of the Year Ronda Filipinas 2022. Congratulations, Jeremy Lizardo. And to receive the award is his brother, Mr. Jeremiah Lizardo Jr. Sir Jeremy Lizardo is also the champion under 23 Ronda Filipinas 2022 and Philippine Navy Standard Insurance Team. Another award recipient is Dr. Ronald Raymond Sebastian. Bayanihan sa daan awardee and first Iloilo Bike Festival director. To complete our awardees, he is a former city councilor, Bayanihan Sadaan awardee, and author of numerous bike ordinances in Iloilo City. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Mr. Jose Efrain J. Trenas III. Congratulations to all our awardees and on behalf of our awardees, let's hear a response from former City Councilor Jay Trenias. Mayong uh, agagid sa tanan, ginapasalamatan kita ito ng una sa tanan ng ito ng pinalanggap ng alkalde. We would like to thank our beloved Mayor, Mayor Jerry D. Trenias. Let's give him a round of applause. For making sure that institutionalizing the Iloilo Bike Council pushes through, which shows the commitment Iloilo City has to our